Okay, so for this question, um, it doesn't look like there's an awful lot we can do. Um, the triangle on the right hand side is not an isosceles necessarily um, because uh, we don't have anything going through the center. It kind of looks like it could be, but there's nothing that says that it can that it is. So we've got to think through our circle theorems. Well, I know one of the circle theorems says that opposite sides of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So, how do I know it's a cyclic quadrilateral? Well, if you have a quadrilateral, which is a four-sided shape, and each of the corners touches the circle, then it's a cyclic quadrilateral. Therefore, we can work out what the opposite is. Now, they add up to uh, 180 degrees. Therefore, I'm going to do 180, take away 60, to work out what it is. So, it's going to be 120. So, we know that's 120 degrees there. And then that's just a simple triangle. So we've just got to do 180, take away the 120 plus 40. So 120 plus 40 is 160. Therefore, we're left over with 20 degrees. So the things we need to write down is um, opposite sides or opposite angles. In And this is the important bit, cyclic quadrilateral. Just make sure whatever you write, make sure you've got cyclic quadrilateral written down. Um, add to 180 degrees. So this this is the key bit here. There's not going to be a correct answer without that term, cyclic quadrilateral. You've also then got to write down the fact that you, uh, angles in a triangle add up to 180. That's how you finished it off.